uh, this morning. Um, back in Aberdeen uh, after working away for the week. So uh, this morning the forecast is looking good, and uh, I'm going to go down to the beach. See if we can get sunrise. Um, I'm going to go and pick up my mate Jason, uh, which we're about to go and do right now. So uh, let's get going. Well, we've arrived at the beach. Um, there's a bit of light, you can see it over my shoulders. Um, not quite the sunrise that we were, uh, I was looking for. Eh, it was alright. Um, but anyway, well, we're down on the beach now and uh, kind of looking more for sort of detail in the sand rather than, well, it's Aberdeen Beach, it, it, not the most inspiring place for me. Um, but what we did find was we found some sort of little patterns in the sand from uh, water that's flowing down the beach and off this area I'm standing on which is reflecting. Uh, so you can see the camera set up. I'm taking a few shots of that and yeah we'll see. Um, the only light we're going to get I think this morning due to the cloud is the gap that you can see um, behind me here. Uh, Jason's with me, he's he's wandered off over there, as it seems to be the case with these trips we, we, when we're out together. We start in the same place and then split. Um, so I'm going to pack up from here and I wander back that way along the beach and see if I can find something else. Um, found a couple of places on the way down so we're going to go and have a look, check them out. Uh, moved down the beach a bit from the last position. Uh, here we've got the groins. Aberdeen Beach has got quite a lot of groins. Um, and this one's got a bit of a, a stream running down through it. So uh, it kind of it caught my attention. Um, sun's a bit higher in the sky, so we've got some sort of yellow gold reflections in the wet sand. So I'm going to give this a shot, see if I can get anything that I'm happy with, although uh, we'll see. Um, groins in the, in the wet sand are always a, always a favourite. Well, we're set up over there. Jason, busy. <laughs> are you filming? Yeah. The, uh, the sun's actually come out, as you can see, because I'm beautifully bathed in warm golden sunlight. Uh, it's kind of caused a bit of unawares though, because we've just been messing around. Um, can't really say that we're maybe in the best place, but uh, hang on two seconds, I'm going to go and take a photograph. I think the tide's starting to come in, because the waves are getting a bit bigger on the, the beach. Uh, and I'm just very aware that my gear's lying over in the sand, just about not even a metre from the, 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 where the wave came in there, so I think I'm going to go and rescue that lot. Unfortunately, I think I've, I've lost the light. It's climbed up into that bank of clouds that you can see. 
Uh, try to rush to get these on and stop everything getting soaked. I'm just going to take a few more and I've now got my filter on so I'm shooting at around one and a half seconds at f16. In fact, I'm going to change over to my six stop filter so I can get rid of the waves completely. One really long exposure, it's about 13 seconds. Um, just, just get rid of any detail and texture and um, with these settings, the, the groins are sort of silhouettes. So we'll have a look and see what we've got. We do, however, have some of the boats on the horizon. I kind of feel that Photoshop might be uh, in order for this one. All the way F22. Double check focus. So sort of maybe in the wrong place, actually. And with this wave coming in, we'll just let it go. So it's about 25 seconds for this. I'll take that, that'll be a black and white. Well, we wander back to where we saw the patterns and uh, the dog walkers and the dogs have seemed to have um, obliterated them. So we're just going to head back to the car and um, pack up, probably go for some breakfast. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>